to what he said, he said, this is his final warning. Okay, y'all, I know it's late. But I'm going to speak when God tells me to speak. Um, I was laying in bed, scrolling through TikTok. And I said, God, I'm going to pray to you. Like, because I had been blowing it off. He'd been trying to get me to pray for hours. I'm like, God, I'm going I'm to pray for you. I'm going to pray to you in a moment. That's what I told him. And he told me now. I said, okay, give me a moment. He said, now. So I began praying. I was laying in the bed praying. He told me, get up, align your posture. And I did, and I started praying. And I said, God, what are you trying to say to me? And he said, a fire is coming. So I questioned him. And I said, I want to make sure that I heard you correctly. And he repeated it again. And then he went silent. I said, okay, I hear you. Can you talk to me? I'm ready. So I'm going to read out everything that he said to me. Like, everything. This is not no sugar in. This is not me adding words in. This is directly what he said to me. Everything, down to the T. I'm an authentic person. I'm not going to try to do nothing for clout. That's not who I am. But I am going to give you what he told me. Because he told me to deliver this. He told me to do it now. He said, a fire is coming. I have sent warnings to the land, but they chose not to listen. Deliver this message to my people. Tell them to turn to me. This is a warning. They still have time, but the time is winding down. There is something coming to the land and it will destroy many. Keep your eyes on me. Turn to me like I have commanded you to. Do not disobey. Take heed to what I'm saying. I'm trying to save you. I have sent my messages to warn you, but you all have rebuked them. The time is now to get into alignment. This is my final warning. It is time. It is coming. Will you be ready? The time is now to repent before it's too late. No sin is too great that I cannot cleanse you, but you must turn to me now. Stop running. Stop trying to hide. Submit to my will and my way. You know that I have called you, so why don't you listen? You hear my voice and you ignore me. That makes me angry. Turn to me and turn away from the world. I love you and I have always loved you. The enemy is just trying to confuse you and keep you turned away from me. I will make you brand new. I will cleanse you. And I will use you for my will. There is still time. Come to me. The time is now before it's too late. I am waiting for you, my child. I command you. Do not ignore my commandments. Do not disobey me. Do not ignore my commandments. Do not disobey me. Where has turning away from me gotten you besides your world turning upside down? That's because I need you to focus on me. I try to get your attention time and time again, but you refuse to listen. Who that is in the world, the time is now. And then after he said that to me, he said, do to write me four and 12 and I'll read it. But when you go and read it, make sure that you read from that scripture all the way down. Then the Lord spoke to you. From the midst of the fire, you heard the sound of the words, but you saw no form. There was only a voice. Listen, God is not playing. God is not playing. He's been telling me since April. April, a storm is coming. A great wind is coming. A storm is coming. Warn my people. Now tonight, he said a fire is coming. This is not to scare you, but y'all need to pray. Y'all need to reconnect with God, follow his instructions, and let him lead you.
this is his final warning. That's that's all I can say. I I can't add to nothing to what he said. He said this is his final warning. All right, Sean Wong, Sean Wong. Call him like now. You have about some young shy about some recockadash. Devil knows to the elves and the apostles of great moonstone who will well. Peace, blessings, and citations goes to the whole for night. Got to scatter abroad. All right, to you brothers out there pushing this truth with our righteousness and sincerity. And to the aqua, the free sisters that are listening and learning to you, I say shalom. Wong. Coming back at you with another lesson through the spirit of power. Y'all about some y'all shy. But we're going to edify and defeat the lambs. And y'all about some y'all shy. Praise let's be edifying the scripture to the point. And hey. Everything she said was spot on, man. Okay? Look, the prophets have been sent out to warn you Israelites, man. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans to repent. And that final warning is winding down. This truth is no longer going to be on the internet pretty soon, man. All right? And hey, we're getting closer to not just a family of the food, but also a family of the word. Okay? So, hey. The warning is going out for you Israelites to repent, man. Okay? So, hey, in the vision that this young lady had, all right? Hey, yay, this is the glory of Yahweh Shai warning her that a fire is coming. And a fire is coming. Laser cherry bean fires and also the nuclear fire that's coming. When these nations begin to shoot their ICBM nuclear missiles on Babylon and Great America. Okay? So, the warning... Is going out for you Israelites to repent, but what you do? You mock his messengers, all right? Like she said, <laughs> like she said in the video, she said, the Lord has sent, all right, prophets on this earth to warn you Israelites to get your ass back in order, man, to come back and repent, but you refuse to listen to the prophets, the men of the Lord. You look down on the very men that are warning you, but you will pay attention to Esau, even the so-called white man, all right? And she also said in uh in uh in one in in the line in you know about maybe about three minute verse all right that the enemy is just trying to keep and it's, the enemy is trying to keep you sleeping exactly and that's Esau Edom so called white man Esau Edom is afraid of this awakening that is happening all right to the Israelites he doesn't want you to wake up he don't want you to wake up to your heritage come back to your heritage he wants you to stay black. Latino, Native American, African American. Why? Because he wants to stay in rulership. Okay? So the final warning is going out to your Israelites, man. All right? And I'm just landing back on uh, the, uh, Brother Amawana Bad. All right? You know, I'm landing back on his video. And, you know, I'm going to put my two cents in, man. You know? And hey, this is a beautiful video that was done by this brother, man. So be sure to subscribe to his brother's channel, man. All right? And constantly be edified. So without further ado, man, hey, let's get the scriptures. Because, hey, the final warnings are going out. Okay? You can't say, when all hell breaks loose, you cannot say you have not been warned. Let me do this right quick. All right? So, okay. All right? So, hey, when the time comes, man, you cannot say you've not been warned. Okay? Because the final warnings are going out, man. You either gonna take heed and repent and listen to the man of the Lord, or your ass are gonna die when all hell breaks loose, man. And we are inching close to Jacob's trouble, man. Okay? Alright? Inching close and closer. Shit is about to <laughs> man, all hell is about to get ready to break loose in this place, man. Alright? The fire is coming. Okay? Alright? So without further ado, let's get the scriptures, man. I don't wanna you don't ramble, all right? So without further ado, let's get the scriptures. This is 2nd Israel chapter 2 and verse 1. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, Shai, I brought this people out of bondage, and I gave them my commandments. Who he gave the commandments to? The Israelites. And without further let me come back to that, and let's get some proof on that, okay? Let's go to Amos 3 and verse 1. Hear this word that the Lord Yahweh Shai has spoken against you, O children of Israel, the Israelites, man. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and the Americans, of course, the scattered Israelites that scatter amongst the heathen and Gentile nations, among the heathen that look like the heathen, okay? Like Elder Malcolm says, all right? Against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, you only have I known 
of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for your, all your iniquities. Okay? And Egypt is symbolic to bondage. Okay? All right? And we're about to be delivered out of this second bondage, this second Egypt, which is Babylon, the great America. Deliverance is coming. All right? But it's only coming for the elect. The one third and 144,000 hopeful elect, man. Two thirds of you Israelites are about to be cut off and die on this side. Okay? Why? Because you refuse to listen to the men of the Lord, the prophets. Okay? Second Israel chapter 2, back to Second Israel chapter 2 and verse 1. Thus said the Lord Yahabashi Yahshai, I brought this people out of bondage and I gave them my commandments by men's servants, the prophets, the men of the Lord. All right? Whom they whom they would not hear, but despise my counsels. All right, two thirds of you Israelites, you despise this righteous counsel that is coming from the men of the Lord, man. Okay, uh, Proverbs. What I'm looking for now. Yeah, right here. Yeah, let's go here. This is Proverbs chapter one, and verse twenty. Wisdom crieth without; she uttereth her voice in the streets. Verse twenty one. She cried in the chief place of concourse in the openings of the gates. She, Snoggy, in the city, she uttered her words, saying, Men out there on the highways and byways, do these daily epistles, these daily lessons, all right? These daily epistles, all right? Day in and day out, man, okay? All right? How long, ye simple ones, will ye not simplicity? It's talking about two thirds of Israelites. And the scorners delight in their scornings and fool. Hate not fools hate knowledge, okay? Let's read that again. How long, ye simple ones, will ye know simplicity and the scorners delight in their scornings? And fools hate knowledge. Two thirds of you Israelites, you hate knowledge, you hate this wisdom, you hate this righteous counsel that's coming from the men of the Lord, man, okay? Verse 23 Turn you at my reproof, behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. The Lord is making known his words unto you. All right. To you Israelites. By his servants. The men. The prophets. All right. The Lord Yahweh is not going to come down to you Israelites and speak to you. He's using his men to do that. Okay. Verse 24. Because when I called, ye refused. I stretched out my hand and no man regarded it. Verse 25. But ye have set at not all my counsel. And would none of my reproof. Verse 26. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. So the Lord Yahabashim Yahshua is going to mock when your fear cometh, man. When your calamity, the destruction come. Okay? Verse 27. When your fear cometh as a destination and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind. When the stress and anguish cometh upon you. Then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. A lot of you going to be calling no Jebus Christ, all right? You know who we're talking about, JC, all right? A lot of you going to try to call on the names, man. The Lord's not going to hear you, all right? Why? Verse 29, for that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord, Yahweh, Shin, Yahshai. You didn't choose the fear of the Lord, man, okay? Verse, verse 30, they would none of my counsels. They despise all my reproofs. You despise the words of the Lord Yahweh Shai. Correction. Okay? Verse 31. Therefore shall they eat the food of their own way and be filled with their own devices. For the turning away of the simple shall slay them, and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. But whoso hearketh unto me shall dwell safely and shall be quiet. From the fear of evil. So if you hearken to the men of the Lord. Alright. Hey. You're going to be quiet from the fear of evil. Listening to the counsel. From the men of the Lord man. Okay. What else I want to go. Uh, let's see. Yeah let's go here. This is Amos chapter 3 and verse 19. Repent ye therefore and be converted. Converted means to come back. To turn back. That your sins may be blotted out. When the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord Yahweh Shin Yahushai. Okay? Verse 20. And he shall sing Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, which before was priest unto you, whom the heavens must receive unto the times 
of the restitution of all things which Yahweh has spoken by the mouth of all his holy prophets since the world began. See? Okay? So the Lord has spoken by his holy prophets since the world began. Since the beginning. Okay? Verse 22. For Moses truly said unto the fathers, A prophet shall the Lord Yahweh Yashai, your power, raise up unto you for your brethren like unto me. Him shall he so like him shall ye hear in all things whatsoever he shall say unto you. Verse uh, 23, the point. And it shall come to pass that every soul which will not hear that prophet shall be destroyed from among my people. So like from among the people, man. Okay? So if you don't listen to the men of the Lord, man, you don't listen to the prophets, you're going to be destroyed. You despise his word, you're going to be destroyed. You're about to be put to death. All right, a lot of death and destruction is coming, man. So, hey, it's time for you Israelites to take heed, okay? This is Second Chronicles chapter 15, verse 13. That whosoever would not seek the Lord Yahweh the power of Israel should be put to death. Not, not if you're going to be put to death, but should be put to death. And two-thirds of you are about to be put to death, man. All right, horrible judgment is about to go forth. Look what happened in Buffalo, New York, man, with those 10 uh, Jakes being slaughtered by the Edomite, man. All right, but a lot of you uh, Jakes, you still trust this devil. You still love this devil, man. Hey, Esau Edom is about to come down upon you, man. This man is about to do all types of horrible shit on this earth, man. All right, so hey, judgment is coming upon this earth, man. So you better take heed to the men of the Lord, man, the prophets, okay? All right? We're just messengers for the Lord, Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, okay? This is not of our words. This is not our words. This is the words of Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, that he's putting in our mouths to warn you Israelites, man, okay? Second Chronicles chapter 15, verse 13, that whosoever would not seek the Lord, Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, the power of Israel should be put to death, whether small or great, whether man or woman. So, hey, not just Israelite men. <laughs> Two-thirds are going to be Israelite men going to be getting slaughtered out here. But you women, the most, are going to be getting slaughtered out here. Raped. Taken advantage of. All right? All types of manner of shit is about to happen to you Israelites, man. Okay? Being thrown into FEMA and concentration camps, man. Some of you going to be going out... To fight in this next world war, man. Especially you Israelite women, man. Are right, you proud ass women that have been proud for so long? Okay. Hey, you about to go off and fight in this world war three, man. All right. You wanted to be like a man. Hey, you going to be like one. All right. But hey, the times we coming into, a lot of you women are going to fold, man. Okay. A lot of you are going to die out here. Like it tells you in Micah 7 and 10. You're going to be trodden down. As the mire of the streets, all right, you Israelite women, if you don't repent and hearken to the men of the Lord, okay? Proverbs 13, verse 13, whoso despise the word shall be destroyed, but he that fear the commandments shall be rewarded, okay? Hey, if you despise the Lord's word, you despise his prophets, you're going to be destroyed, point blank period, man. The Lord is not playing anymore, okay? Let's see. Yeah, let's go here. All right. This is Ezekiel chapter 33 and verse. Mm, I'll start at verse 31. Ezekiel chapter 33 and verse 31. And they come unto thee as the people cometh. They, and they sit before thee as my people. And they hear thy words, but they will not do them. For with, for with their mouths they show much love, but their hearts go after their own, after their covetousness. And that's two thirds of years, nice man. Okay, all right. Verse thirty two. And lo, thou art unto them as a very lovely song for one that hath a pleasant voice and can play well on an instrument. For they hear thy words, but they do them not. Verse thirty three. And when and when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet had been among them. You're going to know that a true prophet was among you. 
okay? And that's the times we're coming into. You about to find out who the true prophets are, man, okay? Point blank, period, okay? Let's go here. This is Isaiah 65 and verse 2. I have spread out my hand all the day unto a rebellious people which walketh in a way that was not good after their own thoughts. That's two thirds of years and lights. You want to do your own thing. You want to try to build up America. You want to try to build a business here. Do this, do that. Instead of hearkening and repenting. All right. Horrible judgment is going, is about to go forth, man. All right. I saw a video from Elder Manantis out about this Jake. All right. Got his, you know what, snapped off by a goddamn alligator, man. Okay. Man, look. Horrible judgment is about to come forth, man. You Israelites better take heed and repent, man. All right? I don't know how many times we got to say this to you. All right? But it ain't going to be long that we ain't going to say this for long. Because the time is coming where this word is going to be gone. And who you going to, hey, who you going to get the truth from then? Huh? Who you going to get the truth from then, man? Okay? You better take heed to the men of the Lord that is out here warning you, putting up these daily epistles. He sit down as it's going out to the highways and byways, man. And hey, look, take heed before it is too late. Because like, <laughs> like that, uh, hey, like that Jay said, man, the time is winding down. The Lord told her that the time is winding down, which means the famine of the word is coming. Okay? All right, the days are being shortened for the elect sake. Woo! Hey, that's Matthew 24, verse 22. Like it says, except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect sake, those days shall be shortened. The days are being shortened for the elect sake, man. Okay? The elect is either, either sealed or about to be sealed. Okay? All right, verse 3. A people that provoketh me to anger continually to my face, that sank, that sacrificeth in gardens and burneth incense upon altars of brick, worshiping false gods, worshiping Buddha, worshiping white man Jesus Christ, man. All right, worshiping these false gods ain't gonna get you nowhere but destroy. Point blank, period, man. Okay, verse four, which remain, which remain among the graves and a, and lodge in the mountains. Slocky, in the monument, sorry, sorry about that, Slocky, which eateth swine's flesh and broth of abominable things in, is in their vessels, okay? Eating swine's flesh, eating shrimp, lobster, crab, and we tell you, you're not supposed to eat those things, man, all right? Hey, don't get destroyed, man, you don't take eat, okay? Verse 5, which say, stand by thyself, come not near me. For I am holier than thou. These are the smoke in my nose, a fire that burneth all the day. The Lord said he's angry with the wicked every day, man. Okay? I think that's, um, mm, oh, let's just go and get it. All right, I don't want to. I think it's Psalms chapter, I think it's Psalms 7 and 11. I think it is. Yeah, right here, Con. Psalms chapter 7 and verse, um, I'm going to start at verse 10. My defense is of Yahweh, which saveth the upright in heart. Verse 11, the point. Yahweh judges the righteous, and Yahweh is angry with the wicked every day, man. The Lord Yahweh is angry with the wicked every single day. Okay? All right? The Lord is no longer playing with two-thirds of your Israelites, man. Okay? You better take heed. Okay? All right? Uh, let's get this. This is 2 Chronicles chapter 36 and verse 15. And yeah, and the Lord Yahweh, the power of, of their fathers, sent to them by his messengers, the prophets, rising up betimes and sending, because he had compassion on his people and on his dwelling place. The Lord, hey, the Lord has compassion on his people, but that compassion is about to go away. All right. Verse 16. But what do you uh, Israelites do? Verse 16, but they mocked the messengers of Yahweh and despised his word and misuse his prophets. You scoff, you mock at the men of the Lord, man, that's trying to warn your ass to repent for you won't have to die, man, to come back to your heritage to repent. 
But we already know two thirds of the Israelites are not going to repent. Okay, until the wrath of the Lord Yahweh arose against His people, till there was no remedy. Okay, the glory, <laughs> hey man, the wrath of the Lord Yahweh is about to be felt throughout the four corners of the earth, man. And hey, if you ain't got the spirit of Yahweh Yahshai, you're finished. Okay. Uh, let's see. Where I want to go next? Yeah, let's go here. This is Amos chapter nine and verse eight. Behold, the eyes of the Lord Yahweh Yahshai are upon the sinful kingdom, America, Babylon the Great, and also Israel, man. You're Israel, like you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and America. So this scripture goes twofold, okay? And I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, said the Lord Yahweh Yahshai. Why? Because he preserved the remnant, okay? Only the remnant is going to be saved, all right? Zechariah 13 verse 8 says that two parts... Two thirds of you Israelites are going to be cut off and die, man. Point blank, period. But the one third is going to be saved. Roughly paraphrasing. Verse 9 For lo, I will command and I will sift the house of Israel from among all nations, like as corn is sifting in the sea, yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. Verse 10 All the sinners of my people, which are you Israelites, Two thirds of you shall die by the sword. That ultimate sword is the ICBM nuclear missiles, man. You're gonna be left here to burn, especially if you take the MOTB, man, which is the CHIP. You take that, that's a death sentence, man. Okay, Revelations 14 9 and 10. Okay, all the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. Okay. Take heed and repent, Israel. Okay? <clears throat> All right. Let's see. Where else I want to go? Mm, yeah, let's go here. This is Ecclesiastes of Sirach chapter 6. It's not Ecclesiastes of Sirach chapter 12, verse 6. For the Most High, Yahweh, and Yahshai hated sinners and will repay vengeance unto the ungodly and keepeth them against the mighty day of their punishment. Okay? So, hey, better take heed and repent, all right? Let's go into that fire, man, that's coming upon two-thirds of years and lights, man. And, of course, these Edomites and the heathen and Gentile nations, okay? All right? But mainly, we're speaking to you years and lights, man, all right, to take heed. This is Sirach of Ecclesiastes chapter 16 and verse 6. And the congregation of the ungodly shall a fire be kindled, and in a rebellious nation, wrath is set on fire, man. All right. This goes twofold, man. Okay. And he's talking about Esau and Edom because they're a rebellious nation. And also two-thirds of you Israelites, man. All right. The Lord calls you a rebellious people, man. He tells you that in Ezekiel, the second and third chapter. You are a rebellious people, man. Okay. That will not listen. As a matter of fact... <laughs> I got to go here. Um, Isaiah 30 and verse 9, I believe. Yeah, right here. Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 9. That this is a rebellious people. Lying children. Children that will not hear the law of the Lord. Yahweh Shem Yahshai. Which say to the seers, see not. And to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things. Speak unto us smooth things. Prophesy deceit. That's two thirds of you Israelites, man. You want to hear deceit, lies being told to you. You would rather listen to the so called white man than to listen to your own people, man. To listen to the men of the Lord that looks just like you. You would rather listen to them. All right? And let's, 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 let's continue to read on. Get you out of the way, turn aside out of the path. Cause the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us. That's what you say. You don't want to know the true names of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. You think the true names of the... <laughs> hey, you think the name of the Lord is, uh, is J.C. And you know who J.C. is. Okay? All right, verse 12. Wherefore, thus said the Lord... Sinachia. Wherefore, thus said the Lord, the Holy One of Israel, Sinachia, because ye despised this word... Sinachia. Sorry about that. Let me start over again. Nobody but Satan. <clears throat> uh, Isaiah 30 and 12. Where, wherefore thus said the Holy One of Israel, because ye despise this word and trust in oppression and perverseness and stay thereon, 
Therefore, this iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fall, swelling out in a high wall, whose breaking cometh suddenly in an instant. Okay? Come on, man. All right, let's go here. Jeremiah 35, verse 15. I have sent also unto you all my servants the prophets, rising up early and sending him, saying, Return ye now every man from his evil way, talking about years and nights, amend your doings, and go not after other gods to serve them. Put away those false gods, man, because those false gods are not going to save you in the times that we're coming into, especially JC, man. All right, Jesus Christ, <laughs> who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, man, which is name, which is the name of the Father is Yahweh, and the name of His Son, our Lord and Savior, is Yahweh Shai. And ye shall dwell in the land which I gave to you and to your fathers, but ye have not inclined your ear nor hearkened unto me. That's two thirds of years in life. You don't want to listen to the Lord. You don't want to listen to the man, of the Lord. Okay, let's move on. Jeremiah chapter 6 and verse 16. Thus said the Lord Yah Bashin Yashai, stand ye in the ways and see and ask for the old past. And that's what we're asking for, the old past, man. Okay? Where is the good way? And walk therein, and ye shall find rest for your souls. But ye, but they say we will not walk therein. You don't want to listen. You don't want to walk in the old way. You want to walk in the ways of Esau Edom. Follow the like it says, envy not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. You choose the ways of the oppressor, which is Esau, even the so-called white man. Okay? This man is going down. His kingdom is about to be destroyed. Okay? Verse 17. Also, I will snog it. Also, I sent watchers, watchmen over you, saying, hearken to the sound of the trumpet. But they say, we will not hearken. You don't want to listen to the men of the Lord. Listen to the warnings that are coming from the men of the Lord. We just got through reading about that in Isaiah chapter 30, man. Okay? Uh, yeah, let's keep continuing reading on. Therefore, hear ye nations, and know, O congregation, what is among them. Hear, O earth, O snot. Behold, I will bring evil upon this people, even the fruit of their thought. Of their thoughts, because they have not hearkened unto my words, nor to my law, but rejected two thirds of years and nights. You reject the laws of the Lord. Yeah, I'm about to see how shot. You want to do what you want to do, but that fire is about to come, man. Okay, let's get this. A lot of you are about to die. The slain of the Lord shall be many. Let's read this Isaiah 66 and verse 15. For behold. The Lord Yahweh Shai will come with fire in his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord Yahweh Shai be with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord Yahweh Shai shall be many. There's going to be a lot of dead bodies out here. All right? Bodies going to be laid out out here on the streets real soon in Babylon, man. Okay? All right? Let's see. Mm. Let's continue, man. Let's go here. Jeremiah chapter 51 and verse 1. Thus said the Lord Yahweh Shia Shai, Behold, I excuse me, I will raise up against Babylon and against them that dwell in the midst of the of them that rise up against me a destroying wind. What's that destroying wind? Them ICBM nuclear missiles, man. Okay, that's that destroying wind that's gonna come and destroy this place and wipe it off the face of the earth. Okay, verse two, and I and will send unto Babylon fanners that shall fan her and shall empty her land. For in the day of trouble they shall be against her round about. Okay, that destroying wind is coming, man. Babylon, the Great America, is about to be destroyed. Okay, by thermal nuclear missiles, man. I'm gonna end it here, man. All right. This is Sirachal Ecclesiastes chapter 5 and verse 6. The point is in verse 7. And say not his mercy is great, for he will be pacified for the multitude of my sins. For mercy and wrath come from him, the Lord Yahweh Shai, and his indignation rested upon sinners. So mercy and wrath come from the Lord Yahweh Shai. All right, tells you that in Sirachal 11 and 14. Life, death, 
adversity and prosperity comes from the Lord. Roughly paraphrasing, okay? Verse 7, make no tearing to turn to the Lord, Yahabashim Yahashai. Make no tearing. Don't wait until it's too late, man. And put not all from day to day. You Israelites ain't got much time left, man. We ain't got much time left, okay? All right? For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord, Yahabashim Yahashai, come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. Okay, and as a matter of fact, let's get one more. Because, hey, this word is about to be gone real soon. All right. And like she said in the video, the thing, and Lord told her, the time is winding down. So you, what, what you think is coming? The famine of the word. Amos 8 and verse 11. Behold, the day is come, said the Lord, Yahweh, Shai, power, that I was in a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord, Yahweh, Shai, Shai. That famine of bread is coming too, but also of hearing this message, this truth, this wisdom, this knowledge. Okay? All right? That's also coming. Or hearing this truth, the famine of the word. This word, hey, the, this word is being dried up, man. You better get it while it's getting this good. Okay? Verse 12. And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, Yahabashim Yahashai, and shall not find it. You're not going to find the words of the Lord anymore, man. Because the Lord is about to pull back his men. He's about to, hey, he's about to shut the mouths of the prophets, man. He tells you that in Ezekiel chapter 3 and verse 26, man. The Lord says he's going to make the, uh, the tongue cleave to the roof of the prophet's mouths, man. All right? Which means we're not going to be able to tell you nothing. The Lord is going to... Hey, you either get it or you don't, man. Your choice. It's not ours. It's yours. The choice is yours. Okay? All right? So with that, I'm in the lesson here. I pray this lesson was edifying and straight to the point. All praises to Yahweh, Bashmi Al Shai, Bashim Rakakadash, double loves to the Els and the Apostles of Great Millstone who were well. Peace, blessings, and citations go to the hopeful and let that scatter broad. See you with another lesson soon, Lord willing, Kwame Yashirang, Shawn Wam. Wow, about a ball, about a one DTA, about a ball. Boom! The next time I say Sean Wong, Sean Wong.